So this is now the final one, which again, just has a small dab on it. And I'm gonna wipe a little bit of the second sauce on the bottom here, because I got a little more left on the plate. All and right. I'll eat so, that while you do question three. And this is gonna be an easy one, Leonard. So yeah. when it comes to watching wrestling, or even if you're in person, do you prefer stadiums or arenas? Most of my experience, of course, as you know, has been with indie shows. So I may even say uh, the back room of an American Legion Hall would be my preferred venue <laughs> because you are so up close to the action and you can also get more of a rapport with the, the wrestlers as they come in and out. And typically, yes, I am talking with my mouth while I'm chewing, folks. Um, and and it, there's an intimate feel, and especially those times where you get to hang out and talk with the legends and such who come to there, you're not going to get that experience in an arena or stadium. Right. That's but to your question, um, I don't know if I've, I don't think I've ever been in an actual stadium to view uh, a match. I've been in arenas and the arenas have been fine. And I've talked to people who have been in stadiums, like a good friend of the show, Dan Weber was in, was at WrestleMania when it was in Texas several years ago. And he talked about how he didn't really enjoy the experience because it was too much, too many people, too big, too large. You couldn't really focus on the action. You couldn't really see what was going on. And they were on the floor, but they were on like these risers that were kind of towards the back. Like they had added like extra seating. Right. And so I would say I would probably prefer a more intimate, smaller experience. And I'm that way. If I go to any sport, I love how new baseball parks like PNC Park where the Pirates play, Great America where the Reds play are smaller, more intimate parks. And then the big cookie cutter stadiums that were multi-purpose baseball and football, um, like say what Three Rivers Stadium used to be, right. uh, and, and Veterans Memorial in Philly and these things, uh, because they were just too big and too large. I think the more intimate experience is more friend friendly. So I would say smaller indie show, arena show, larger stadium. And I will mention that I've been, of the some arena shows I've been to, I've been to a couple house shows at the Wheeling Civic Center, which is a very small arena. And that gives you a very nice, intimate experience. Dan and I even had the shield walk by us at one show that we went to. So that was really neat to, to have cool. them. Yeah, so that was weird. And it was funny, too, because Dan, you know, when we get there, he's like, oh, the shield, who cares about the shield, shield, Dan. Yeah. And then when they walk by us, he's like, that was so cool, the shield walked by us. Yeah, I mean, look at them now. It changes uh, your perspective on something, yeah. Yeah, you know, I uh, I certainly prefer arenas and, to stadiums, and I have been to a, a stadium before. I went to see, uh, you know, uh, the WrestleMania in New York, New Jersey WrestleMania that featured uh, Rock and Cena two, mm -hmm. and you know, I had near nosebleed seats in this in the stadium. It was MetLife Stadium where the Giants play, and uh, you know, not only was the weather kind of crappy that day, but uh, you know, I, I echo some of Dan's sentiments. It was great to be at a WrestleMania. It's an experience I'll never forget. Uh, you know, I loved being there, but it was a lot of people. And, you know, with the sound being drowned out from, if you're watching on TV, especially it, it, to me, it takes away from the drama of some of the matches. Like I love, like, you know, the, on the podcast, you always hear people talk about, um, you know, the arena in Chicago, the old arena in Chicago. I don't think they use it anymore. Not the Rosemont Horizon? Yes. Yeah, the uh, Rosemont Horizon. Where they had, like, the, the sound would just reverberate off of the, the, the ceiling, and it would just be so loud in there. And sometimes that makes the matches all that more special when you can hear the crowd react to everything. And you don't get that at stadiums. And I realize that they're trying to get as much money and have as many people there as they can with the WrestleManias. Um, and even AEW has had some shows at our Arthur Ashe Stadium, or at least one. I think they're going to do another one here soon. Oh. And that, that's a smaller stadium. So those aren't as bad, but I still prefer the indoor venues um, where you can get that more intimate feel. And I agree with you about the indie show uh, as well. Um, so Leonard, I saw you drank your milk. I could tell while you were speaking that that one was getting to you a little bit. Yes, considering the little bit that I had on there, I would actually like a little bit more to have gotten more of the heat at the start. But that's one of those that gets you on the backside. 
Ah, yes. Because when I first ate it, I was like, oh, this is fine. I, did, I should have put more on. I didn't really get, get the flavor of it. But as it has sat, like at this moment now, I'm feeling it very strong, sort of in the back of my mouth to the back of my throat area. And it's kind of a burning sting. Um, I would say that was more of a hot for hot sake, which I'm not a fan of. There wasn't really much of a flavor to that um, as the other two were. I would say the second one was my favorite of the three, which was the, the medium. Right. That hot, hot gets to the point where it gets to the point where it's hot for the sake of being hot. I don't particularly like that. I like a flavorful hot. That's why I like things like uh, uh, mango habanero type of thing. Cause you're getting yeah. mangoes adding some flavor to the heat. So um, I've had quite a few hot sauces that are hot, hot, like you mentioned. Oh. Um, and you know, I, yeah, I, I, I love trying hot things, but when it's just pure heat, you know, to me, and it's like it's often it's not good. Like, you know, when it's just pure heat. And, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, I tried the Pocky Hottest Chip Challenge. Yeah, I think you told me about that. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, I, you know, that was kind of, I hung up the, uh, you know, the gun holster, so to speak, with trying really hot stuff after that, because that was just, just horrible. It was like utter torturous for 24 hours. So, yeah, um, this was fun. I wish I could have done it with you, Leonard. I I tried to search at the Walmarts, mm -hmm. and New Jersey just is sucktastic in that way, I guess. I guess the Walmarts around here have. I found them at two different ones, but and and as for and I'm not a boneless wings fan. Let's go there too. I like the wing. I like a real yeah. wing. That's like a chicken nugget. It's a pressed chicken meat substance. Yeah. But for that, and being the fact that I microwaved them to be quick, I didn't oven them. <laughs> Um, those weren't bad. I think when I eat those again, I'm going to put them in the oven and I'm going to use the second sauce. Well, if I can ever find them, I'll do it as well. Um, okay. So, all right. 